what's happening, y'all? Uh, today we're gonna do a review on the brothers. It's a Tyler Perry series. Um, it's pretty good. So I was like, fuck it, I might well do a review on it. Um. Oh, I forgot to say, welcome back to No Face, No Case. I'm thinking about changing the shit to Half Face, Half Case. I don't know. I'm still working on it. You know what I'm saying? I, like I told you, I'm new to this YouTube shit. You know? But I am going to start doing a lot more reviews on different shit, different movies, different shows. So stay tuned for that. Let's jump into this episode here. It's season two, episode 10. Um, right now, Gina is at Mike House. This motherfucker here. Whoo, boy, boy, boy. Well, I can't bash him too hard. I mean, I think everybody done did some shit like that before. You know what I'm saying? Everybody done did some shit like that before. I, I can say that. You know, right now, that nigga in his feelings. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't go in, in on this nigga too hard. Um, uh, right now he trying to, you know what I'm saying, get Gina to bust them cheeks open. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't going for it. You know what I'm saying? She was like, I'm not going to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Just to get back at, you know what I'm saying? Bill, Isaac, hey, looking ass. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, he trying to, you know what I'm saying, juice up with some of that rich, you know what I'm saying, wine from Family Dollar. <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all. It did come from Family Dollar probably. <laughs> well, I'm just playing. Let's get off the wine from Family Dollar. But anyway, he trying to juice up with some of that rich wine. And uh, she was like, nah, I don't want no glass. I don't need nothing to drink. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what you got to say. You know what I'm saying? You called me over here. I want to know what you, got, what you got to talk to me about. You know what I'm saying? What's so fucking important? And uh, he was like, you know what I'm saying? I like you and then everything. I always had feeling for you. You know what I'm saying? Bill don't deserve a woman like you. And, um, she already see through this nigga bullshit. Like, I mean, the nigga dressed well, but his player, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got that player in him. You know what I'm saying? Some people can dress well, but they ain't got that really player in them. You know what I'm saying? That smooth talk. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't going for that shit. And I respect her for that. You know what I'm saying? She ain't no, you know what I'm saying, homie hopper, dick hopper, skipper, none of that shit. So... I give you a point, you know what I'm saying? And um he's told her he had proof that Bill fucked Pam. And um she uh said, What? How you have proof? And he was like, Well, I had a private investigator to follow them around, you know what I'm saying, follow her around, you know what I'm saying, see who she was fucking with. And um so the me I can't understand Mike and Pam. Like, when they together, he don't even fucking want her. But when they not together, he won't. Like, he going crazy. Like, something fucking wrong with him. Like, I don't understand this motherfucker right here. And plus, like, he up there snitching on the man and shit. Tell him all who he done fucked and shit. Like, he up gonna tell Jim, like, that time, um... He said he with me. Well, he was with three other bitches. Now, let me tell y'all something what my mama used to tell me all the time. Some motherfuckers, a lot of motherfuckers ain't your friend. And a lot of people hang around you just to soak up information. If you done told them something, just to throw it back in your motherfucker face. Or just to soak up information and just to spill that shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that was some cold shit. You know what I'm saying? So, watch what you do around your friends. Because everybody ain't your motherfucking friend. Like Lil Boosie and Mo3 say. You know what I'm saying? But uh, everybody ain't your partner. I don't give a fuck if it's bro code, ho code. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So, watch what you do around your friends out here. So, uh... Let's get to some more shit that happened in this episode. After I done told y'all all that shit about, you know what I'm saying, Mike and Regina. You know what I'm saying? Regina decided, you know what I'm saying, to wait at Mike's house. You know what I'm saying? To wait on the photos with this private investigator gonna send to Mike. You know what I'm saying? 
And right now, you know what I'm saying, they chucking it up and shit, you know what I'm saying? Having a little <laughs> but he's still trying to get some heat, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, they they catching a little slight chemistry there, you know what I'm saying? They talking about how he got knocked the fuck out, then he re went back and knocked John the fuck out. And, you know what I'm saying, you know John mama, her crazy ass done posted the shit and everybody talking about how this shit done went viral and shit like that. <laughs> Later on, John Mama, man, that motherfucker, <laughs> get her an award or something. Please, y'all get that lady an award because that motherfucker is funnier than a motherfucker. <laughs> I tell you, I know how John feel like at a certain age. You know what I'm saying? Because she would have telling him, you know, go get your mom. You know, go get her some tap puns. You know what I'm saying? He grown and shit. You know, that's whatever. Whatever. But this is the part I'm talking about right here. At a certain age, you don't want to hear your mama saying she need to go buy some condoms, some lube, all that. You don't want to hear your mama with none of that shit. At a certain age, you just want to hear your mama pussy shot down. You know what I'm saying? Abandoned. Lost at sea. You know what I'm saying? That shit be like, you be like, ugh, I don't want to hear it. You know? Which, you know, you know what I'm saying? The hat fuck to get you into this world. But at a certain age, you be like, Mom, I'm not trying to hear that shit right now. You know what I'm saying? She like every other mama in the world. You just not trying to... You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to hear that shit at a certain age. Like, it's a certain, just, I can't explain it, y'all. I understand what John going through. Please get that man out of his mama house. Please let that man do better, because that motherfucker getting tortured every day. He got to hear his mama fucking. If I had to hear my mama fuck, put me in the crazy house. Because I ain't trying to hear that shit. I Nigga, I go sleep outside in the car or something. Because I'm not trying to hear nothing like that. That that will really be disturbing. So I know which, how you feel, John. You ain't trying to hear none of that shit about no pussy. So, <clears throat> after all that funny shit I done told y'all, y'all probably laughing. Tom, he get a call from, I guess, a family member, some shit going on, you know, like, at the doctor, I don't know who who it can be, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the person ain't got that long to live, and he done left John at the store getting tampons and condoms for his mama. So he like, fuck this, you know what I'm saying? You get that emergency call when some shit going down, you be like, motherfucker, you gonna have to find your way back home. So he done took off and left, so uh, he had to peel out on that nigga. So, uh, at the time, you know what I'm saying, got off the phone with a family member, um, Natalie came over, uh, Isaac Hayes house. I mean, uh, Bill house. I keep calling this motherfucker Isaac Hayes. I'm about to change the name to Isaac Hayes. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying, she, you know, giving him, like, a therapy session, you know, like, you know what I'm saying, asking him about his mama, and he told her, like, you know what I'm saying, his mama abandoned him, you know what I'm saying, and she was like, well, you know, using men choose women based off their moms, really, I don't really think that's true, because I know a lot of motherfuckers got a lot of good mamas, but they still do the same shit, you know what I'm saying, so she want him to revisit his past, you know what I'm saying, he don't know his father either, you know what I'm saying, so he dealing with a lot of inner issues, you know what I'm saying, some, a lot of shit in the inside, and it's ball up, and that's why he treat these women like they ain't shit, he on to the next, that's why he don't mind playing around, so, um, after that, you know what I'm saying, Tom went home packing up his shit, come to find out, uh, you know, it was his mom, is sick, you know what I'm saying, she having organ failure, so, um, he was like, I spent this whole time trying to work on, like, getting my homeboys back together, you know what I'm saying, really, I needed to been down there, you know, looking after my mama, you know what I'm saying, um, 
I don't know where his mama from, but I just sat down there. I don't know where the fuck she from, but, um, so he told, uh, his homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Look after my homeboys, try to keep them together while I'm out of town. And, um, I forgot the homeboy name. I think his name Greg, Greg, I think. And Greg said, I go fill in at the hospital for you. I think, you know what I'm saying, they might twist this thing up and Greg, he might take over, you know what I'm saying, Tom's spot at the house pillar, and they might end up prior fire, firing Tom, you know what I'm saying, you know how shit go, you know what I'm saying, somebody get there, you know what I'm saying, do, it, do your job better than you, but right now, Tom's not giving a fuck because, you know what I'm saying, his mama, he's trying to get to his mama right now, so he really ain't stood nothing, so not right now. So, after all that, I done told you, you know what I'm saying, we get back to Regina, we get back to Regina and uh, Mike in his apartment, so the pictures done finally came motherfucking through from the private investigator, you know what I'm saying, he was like, there you go, they're gonna prove that, that's, that's it, you know what I'm saying, that's over, and she was like, motherfucker, for you to be a lawyer, you know what I'm saying, read, read what this motherfucker done, you know, read the fucking email. Read what this motherfucker done sent you besides looking at a picture. She be like, it's this, uh, it look like the car, but it's a different tag number. He like, what? You know what I'm saying? For him to be a lawyer, I think he done, fu- he might have fucked a couple people up and they might be in jail for, you know what I'm saying? Because he ain't do his investigation all the way down to the court. You know what I'm saying? He's so quick. Yes, yes. You know, I wouldn't want him as a motherfucking lawyer. Hell no. Um, so, you know what I'm saying, they chopping it up, you know what I'm saying, he was like, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't gonna try to fuck you, by the way, I'm sorry, I want, you know, uh, you know, she was like, I wasn't gonna fuck you either, you know, and he said, you know, I'm skipping through a lot of parts, but, um, he said, uh, f- but, by the way, he still kissed Pam, and she was like, you know what I'm saying, I had them, you know, she told her, to kiss him, to see what he was going to do, which, that was stupid on her part, and I think it was a dangerous move, you don't never test nobody like that, you know what I'm saying, because, you know what I'm saying, anything can happen, and she be like, well, I want him to say no, so he'll grow the fuck up, you know what I'm saying, most of everybody, you cannot do that with everybody, so, if y'all out there trying to tempt your boyfriend, girlfriend, don't do that shit, Cause it's, you know what I'm saying, it's just a TV show. All that shit is not going to work for everybody. You give them one kiss, then they might be tearing skins up in the background. You know what I'm saying? So, don't ever do that. But, um, Bill, you know what I'm saying, he just walked in. Like, everybody got a key to everybody got them house. Like, do they got locks on their door? Well, hell, even if they had locks on the door, they still got a key. Damn. I couldn't do that. But, uh, he walked in, like, you know what I'm saying, they had a chuckling and shit, like, shit, did I interrupt something? You know what I'm saying, y'all look like y'all have a chemistry, and push you, I got two wine glasses on the table and shit. So, then the episode went off. So, we gonna, um, wait till, uh, the next episode come on to see what's happening. You know what I'm saying, see they gonna, you know what I'm saying, he gonna knock Mike top off. If he gonna bust his shit up in the goddamn kitchen, you know what I'm saying, so I'll holler at y'all motherfuckers later on for some more reviews, peace out, I'm out bitch.